Okay, Th thoughts on portfolio management, comparison from the token metrics and an ex Goldman guy. Okay, uh, let me see if I understand this question. So are you asking to compare token metrics and Goldman Sachs or just thoughts on portfolio management? Okay, I mean, I'll kind of maybe share our perspective from the, from the quant side, maybe Bill can kind of share his perspective from working in Wall Street. So at token metrics, uh, we're, as mentioned before, we're launching a new grade called the quant grade and also the trader grade, uh, but we're also launching a new way to allocate portfolios, essentially our AI indices. So to, if you're not a customer yet, I highly encourage you to go and join tokenmetrics.com, uh, subscribe. We do have this kind of trials, but let me go through, for example, and cover our indices. So I'll cover how we allocate them right now. Then I also cover how we're going to be allocating them in the future. So if you go to any of our indices right now, if you notice, they're pretty much almost evenly balanced. They pretty much sway between uh, 10 to maybe 11% to maybe 9.5% or maybe at the lowest about 9%. That's because we allocate the weights to each coin in the index based on the grade. So in this case, we're looking at the value investor quarterly balanced index. So this is taking basically the a balanced grade, basically the, the finer grade and building a portfolio around that. So meaning that if, if a if Bitcoin has a grade of let's say 95% and some of the cryptocurrency has a grade of 85%, the difference is pretty minor, right? So that's what we currently use. However, it's not the most efficient way of allocating a portfolio. The other, the other traditional way is a market-based index. So for example, if you go to other competing products or, or, or even just coin market cap, most indices in crypto use a market cap weighted portfolio. Basically they'll take the amount of money in Bitcoin and which is about, let's say about 65%. So 65% of the portfolio is towards Bitcoin. Uh, that is a nice safe strategy, but we don't think it's the most efficient strategy. Uh, if you're trying to uh, make money fast, if basically high risk, high reward, it's kind of like the, the very passive investing approach. Uh, our approach, even with this, with this balanced approach, people would think this is super risky. I mean, to me, this, this is balanced, <laughs> but we dabble in altcoins all, uh, all day, 24 seven. But if you go to Tribic and Maximals, I don't think this is like shitcoin relay. <laughs> but uh, to us, because we've gone through and done the actual analysis on these projects, they're not, they're, they're not as risky as other, other, others would think. Now the new strategy we're working on, let me see if I can actually pull this up here. This is basically our internal GitHub. Uh, hey, what's up, Crypto Nesto? Thanks for the comment. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so just give me a second here. I'm going to pull up these. So we have some internal documentation uh, that I want to share. So we're launching. Okay, yeah. So we're launching a new way to allocate portfolio. And actually, surprisingly, this model is called the Black Litterman model. And it comes from Goldman Sachs. And this was back in the 90s. Basically, a bunch of quant people uh, figured that markets do not fo follow a normal distribution. So if I can just get technical with you for uh, a few minutes here. So please bear with me. Uh, let me see if I can. This is kind of what the quant team at Token Metrics is working on behind the scenes uh, to make Token Metrics uh, an amazing product. And we're hoping to launch this uh, hopefully sometime this week, or, or I'm sorry, some, some, uh, sometimes next week. Uh, sorry, okay, yeah. So, so I'll probably just sort of bouncing around. So let's take this approach here, right? So this is basically uh, two distributions, right? So most models for allocating a portfolio assume that it follows a normal distribution, but that's not the case, right? If anything, crypto follows what is known as a fat tail distribution, meaning that there's a higher probability over a big loss, right? Everybody in crypto knows this. Just go look at your portfolio if you've been in crypto for the last two years, right? There's definitely a coin that has huge losses. For example, if we go to XRP, right? If I can zoom in here. So XRP here lost more than 30% in one day. Uh, other coins we can look at, for example, Matic Network, uh, at one point it lost 64% in one day. And right? for this, this was last year. And there was lots of fun around that. But in, in, 
in general, cryptocurrencies can lose a lot of money very quickly. So what our team is doing is kind of going through all of that. Uh, now going back to the black lit model. So it, it assumes that, okay, no more distributions do not work. So we have to use something different. We have to use essentially a fat tail kind of distribution or, or rather we have to take the market cap views, basically the market, market cap weighted portfolio. And then we take our, our proprietary technology with the AI and basically our grades and we combined it to to come up with a hybrid portfolio. And then we go through different simulations using uh, basically mathematics and we find a portfolio that sits across the efficient frontier. So let me see if I can find a diagram to uh, to model that here. And just bear with me. Like the two man model. But I mean, this is, I mean, obviously uh, I'm definitely no expert at this. I'm just kind of giving you the the high level overview of, on how this works, but this is what our quant team uh, has been working on. Uh, okay, so let me see if I can find a big picture to to explain this. Uh, right. Um, so basically this, so we're trying to find a portfolio that sits across the efficient frontier. And for layman's, that basically means finding a portfolio that is the most efficient portfolio to allocate your money in by going through thousands or probably even hundreds of thousands of simulations, right? So what does that mean exactly? So let's say you have, to keep things simple, you have DAI, a stable coin, and Bitcoin. Now let's say you're very conservative, but you want to find the most efficient way to allocate that capital. Do you buy 50% DAI, 50% Bitcoin? Do you buy 99% Bitcoin, 1% DAI? So we basically use computer models to go through and simulate every single permutation or combination and find the most efficient allocation, meaning the, the most efficient way to give you the best return versus risk. So at a high level, that's kind of what we're doing, except we're doing it for all the indices, right? So if we give you an index, um, so for example, uh, let me go back here and show how this would work with the new grades. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of bouncing around here, but uh, it's all gonna be worth it. <laughs> uh, fundamental grade. Okay, yeah, so here, so here's a perfect example. So this is the, the raw data. Uh, yes, I'm getting technical, but I think it kind of will kind of make sense once people kind of see how this works. So here we, we're allocating a portfolio based on the fundamental grade, but based on the black, Litman model, right? So what this is saying, if we, if we want to build a portfolio based purely on fundamentals, this is how it would allocate the portfolio. And in this case, we have uh, 10 coins. So it would allocate 13.8% uh, towards PAX Gold, 13.8% uh, towards Bitcoin, about 12.7% towards Ethereum. So it's going through and it's doing all the calculations for you to find the efficient allocation as opposed to just allocating it based purely on grade. So that's kind of uh, the approach we're doing. Uh, the good thing is if you subscribe to Tokametrics uh, immediately, uh, you'll be able to leverage this once we launch this, uh, hopefully this month, without having to be a data science expert or quant expert, we'll fully aut automate this for you and give you technologies that are typically used by quant funds at the power of your fingertips. So that's kind of our perspective. Uh, Bill, could you kind of share your perspective and kind of what you've experienced working in Wall Street? Certainly. So as you just saw, the answer to the question, what is the difference between token metrics and Goldman Sachs for portfolio management? There isn't any, okay? Because token metrics has figured out how to leverage AI, machine learning, and advanced finance theory, okay? To generate information, okay? This is where the Goldman Sachs comes in to find not only the hidden gems, but that allocation that you should make, like you, you should have extra ether or extra chain link, or you should have Ren, or, you know, you should have no Bitcoin or whatever, or stable coins. What's that allocation to give your portfolio that kicker, right? What's the thing that no one can see? Like, here's a Goldman story. 
once upon a time, we had a guy when oil's at 50 or 30 who said oil was going to 100. And they thought that the research was irresponsible. They thought it was crazy. Okay, oil went to 140. Why am I telling you this? Well, because Goldman had technology, ways to measure oil demand, but it also had human analysts who could look at it, put it in context, and then help you say, yeah, buy a bunch of oil stocks. So if you would normally hold 10 units of oil stocks or 10%, yeah, bump that up to 20 now before the move happens, right? So Goldman was always early, right? Goldman knew the 2008 crisis was coming three years before it did and took measures to protect the firm, all right? With token metrics, okay, you're getting the same kind of technical brain power and human expertise, but you're getting it in a streamlined blockchain AI version that can be consumed by you, the retail investor listening. So when Ian's like, get on board, he's talking about getting on board something that can move like a starship, but it's super lean and mean. And it's made for you, right? It's made for you. All right. Uh, thank you, Bill. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the beauties of kind of bringing in the human capital but also our, our AI technology and making it accessible to our customers, right? So you have access to Bill and his, and his wisdom in the private group, the, the professional group. Uh, you have access to our AI and you have access to our community as well. So be sure to join if you haven't yet joined Tokenmetrics.